Barack Hussein Obama II, a name that echoes through the corridors of history. Born on August 4, 1961, in Honolulu, Hawaii. A man who rose from humble beginnings to become the 44th President of the United States. This is his story. Honolulu, Hawaii, the birthplace of Barack Obama, a place of stunning beauty and cultural diversity. But it was here, in these serene surroundings, that the story of a future leader began. Barack's early years were marked by a multicultural upbringing. His father, Barack Obama Sr., was from Kenya. His mother, Stanley and Dunham, was from Kansas, United States. Their union was a symbol of hope and unity in a world divided by race. Obama had a unique childhood. He was exposed to different cultures, ideas, and perspectives. This shaped his worldview and instilled in him a sense of global citizenship. At age six, Barack moved to Indonesia with his mother and stepfather. This experience broadened his horizons and gave him a deep appreciation for different cultures. Returning to Hawaii, Barack attended Punahou School. Here, he excelled academically and athletically, but he also faced challenges. As a biracial child, he struggled with his identity and belonging. Barack was always searching for himself. He was deeply thoughtful and driven. We knew he was destined for great things, even back then. Barack's journey took him to Columbia University and then Harvard Law School. At Harvard, he became the first African-American president of the prestigious Harvard Law Review. This achievement marked him as a rising star. After law school, Barack moved to Chicago. He worked as a community organizer in the South Side, helping residents fight for better living conditions. This work ignited his passion for public service. Barack was deeply committed to making a difference. His work in Chicago was transformative, both for the community and for him personally. It was here that he found his calling. In Chicago, Barack met Michelle Robinson. They married on October 3, 1992. Together, they built a life dedicated to service and raising their two daughters, Molia and Sasha. Barack's political career began in the Illinois State Senate. He served from 1997 to 2004, focusing on ethics reform and healthcare legislation. His ability to bridge divides and work across the aisle set him apart. Barack had a unique ability to connect with people. He listened, he empathized, and he inspired. His time in the Illinois Senate was just the beginning. In 2004, Barack delivered the keynote address at the Democratic National Convention. His speech electrified the nation and catapulted him to national prominence. That speech was a defining moment. It was clear that Barack Obama was a leader for our times. In 2008, Barack announced his candidacy for president. His campaign was built on hope and change. He inspired millions with his vision for a united America. Running for president was a daunting challenge. But Barack believed in the power of people to bring about change. He never lost sight of that. On November 4, 2008, history was made. Barack Obama was elected the 44th president of the United States. He became the first African American to hold the highest office in the land. Barack's election was a culmination of decades of struggle. It was a powerful affirmation of the American dream. On January 20, 2009, Barack took the oath of office. His inauguration was a moment of immense pride and hope for millions around the world. Barack's presidency faced significant challenges. The Great Recession, healthcare reform, and global conflicts. But he remained steadfast in his commitment to progress and unity.
Barack was a steady hand during turbulent times. He made tough decisions with courage and compassion. He always put the American people first. One of Barack's most significant achievements was the Affordable Care Act. It expanded healthcare coverage to millions of Americans and remains a cornerstone of his legacy. Passing the Affordable Care Act was a monumental achievement. Barak's leadership and determination were crucial in making it happen. In 2009, Barak was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. The Nobel Committee recognized his efforts to strengthen international diplomacy and cooperation. In 2012, Barack was re-elected for a second term. His vision for America continued to resonate with millions. The 2012 campaign was a testament to Barack's enduring appeal. He remained a symbol of hope and progress. Barack's second term was marked by significant events. The tragic shooting at the Emmanuelan Church in Charleston was a moment of deep sorrow. Barak's words brought comfort and unity during a time of profound grief. His empathy was his strength. As his presidency drew to a close, Barak reflected on his journey and the progress made. On January 10, 2017, Barak delivered his farewell address in Chicago. It was a poignant moment, filled with gratitude and hope. Post-presidency, Barack and Michelle continue to inspire. Through the Obama Foundation, they focus on civic engagement and leadership development. In 2018, Barack's official portrait was unveiled at the Smithsonian, a symbol of his lasting impact on American history. Barack Obama's journey is a testament to the power of hope and the possibility of change. From Honolulu to the White House, his life story inspires us all to dream bigger and strive for a better future. Barack Obama's legacy lives on in the hearts and minds of people around the world. His journey reminds us that no matter where we come from, we have the power to shape our destiny. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life of Barack Obama, a man whose story continues to inspire hope and change for generations to come.